Harut Yunyan acknowledges Karabakh Armenians' disconnect with his rule. Armenian separatists promptly responded to President Ilham Aliyev's Munich speech, in which he rejected the possibility of negotiations with what separatists call State Minister Ruben Vardanyan and expressed an intention to establish a checkpoint on the Lachin Road. Ilham Aliyev told about it, Karabakh Armenians are Azerbaijani citizens, are minority. Azerbaijan is a multi-ethnic country, and all minorities in Azerbaijan enjoy some rights and privileges, including cultural, linguistic, and any other, and also security. And we are ready to start practical communications with representatives of Armenian community in Karabakh. And today, in front of Secretary Blinken, I told my Armenian colleague about that. But we can do it only when Russian citizen criminal oligarch, a person who was involved in money laundering in Europe, Vardanian, is out of our territory. The first to react was the representative of the illegal president in the Russian-controlled part of Karabakh, Arek Harut Yunyan. He told Ruben Vardanian's presence in Karabakh and his activities are an internal matter for Karabakh Armenians. Along with a demonstration of an anti-Azerbaijani position, other statements are heard from the separatist leadership. On the 19th of February, Arek Harut Yanyan made a statement on Facebook where he admitted serious internal contradictions. He noted that the governing bodies of the Armenian community do not fully reflect public sentiments and in some cases do not have the necessary level of trust, which given today's uncertainty and constantly evolving events, often generates waves of objective and subjective discontent, leading to outbursts and internal turmoil. Harut Yunyan wrote, He agreed with the public's demand and set up a consultative body with representatives from different regions of the Armenian populated part of Karabakh, with the right to give advice and recommendations to the head. Harut Yunyan said he would deliver a message on the 23rd of February on the threats, plans and next steps.